what we gotta do. Legalize, yeah, what we gotta do. Legalize, yeah, what we gotta do. Legalize, gotta put them pushes right in the grave. I'm Ethan Adelman, Executive Director of the Drug Policy Alliance, which is America's leading organization promoting alternatives to the war on drugs. Uh, you know, we've been deeply involved in a, in a lot of efforts to roll back the war on drugs around the country, and even to some extent globally. And that included marshalling the uh, resources and heading up the campaigns to legalize medical marijuana in California and most of the western states, Alaska, Oregon, Washington, Colorado, Nevada, as well as Maine, and then recently in New Mexico and working elsewhere. It's about advocating for treatment instead of incarceration, advocating for harm reduction, needle exchange programs, overdose prevention, advocating for sensible drug education, as we've done with our Safety First campaign and allying with the PTA in California. It's basically about organizing people who believe that the war on drugs is doing more harm than good. And taking that spectrum of opinion, ranging from those who believe that we should simply legalize everything, to those who may not be comfortable with legalization, but definitely are opposed to the, the whole over-criminalization, over-incarceration. Coming up in the first weekend of December, December 5th to 8th, 2007 in New Orleans is going to be the Biennial International Drug Policy Reform Conference. You know, my organization, Drug Policy Alliance, is the principal organizer, but we're co-hosting it with the, uh, the ACLU and the Harm Reduction Coalition and LEAP, Law Enforcement Against Prohibition, and Marijuana Policy Project and Students for Sensible Drug Policy, and also partnering with dozens of other organizations, including Normal, which is uh, where I'm sitting right now at Normal's annual conference. It's, we expect roughly a thousand people there, people from across the political spectrum, all around the United States, dozens of foreign countries. There's going to be 60 or 70 panels on every subject under the sun, wonderful plenary and breakout panels, lots of organizations having their, uh, their annual meetings there. So I'm hoping that as many people will come there as absolutely possible. You know, I'm very impressed by, by the political sophistication of the people and the conversations around the medical marijuana issue, especially in California, but even outside as well, in states like Oregon and Washington, Colorado. I mean, this is about engaging serious mainstream American politics, and there's been enormous progress. What's happening here in L.A. is really quite extraordinary, with hundreds of cannabis dispensaries popping up, with a very powerful and a dynamic, uh, political dynamic happening, with the DEA and the feds coming in and picking people off, but more and more clubs popping up. I have to say I'm very torn about this development. My hope, of course, is that what's going on here will ultimately lead to the legitimate regulation and legitimization of medical marijuana in California, and ultimately to the legitimization of, of, of marijuana distribution writ large, not just for medical purposes. But I'm worried, of course, when people seem to be overconfident, when things are moving so quickly that they can prompt a, a serious backlash. It's hard to forget what happened in the late 1970s in America, where many people thought that the legalization of marijuana was inevitable, and then within a few short years, there was a massive swinging back of the pendulum, and a lot of things were lost. So I'm hopeful that folks don't get overconfident here, that they remain cautious, that they think strategically, because the objective has to be to steadily regularize and legitimize the medical marijuana phenomenon in California so it becomes a model for the rest of the country and ultimately a model for the broader legalization of cannabis. What we gotta do? Legalize. Yeah, what we gotta do? Legalize. Oh, what we gotta do? Legalize. Gotta put them pushers right in the grave.